بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسول الكريم أما بعد تكثر السواعق عند اقتراب الساعة حتى يأتي الرجل storms close to قيامة will increase will become common will become prevalent until a person comes to his people and he will say that who had died, who had gotten injured, who was affected recently by the storm here, who was killed by the storm in your area. فَيَقُولُونَ سَيْقَ فُلَان وَفُلَان So and so was injured, so and so was killed. So whether it's a storm, a thunderstorm, electric currents, thunder, lightning, bolts of lightning. These fall under the ambit of a storm, hurricane, tornadoes, violent wind. تكثر السوائق عند اقتراب الساعة فيصبح القوم فيقولون People will be saying that this tribe, this nation, this locality, this happened and this is how they were wiped out. A time will come Allah tajidu buyutan No matter how you strengthen and fortify your houses, these turbulences will wipe you out. Wa tuhlikakum as-sawa'ik and these storms will wipe you out. So the Muhaddithin explain that close to Qiyamah there will be excessive storms and uh, that will overwhelm society. So we see that uh, conditions on earth occur based on the amal that we send in the heavens. In close to Qiyamah, there will be a complete degeneration of deen, a disintegration of deen. The shakal, the form, the appearance of deen may be there outwardly, but internally there will be no shakal and form of deen. So when these halat and conditions come, then we need to reflect to our amal. إِذَا سَمِعْتُمُ الرَّعْدِ فَذْكُرُوا اللَّهِ When you hear lightning, thunder, when you see there is a storm, remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because you'll be protected. Awzai mentions that uh, Ibn Abi Zakaria used to say, whoever says the name of Allah makes zikr of Allah subhanallah wa bihamdihi and when he hears the thunder raging, then that storm will not affect him. So Muhaddithin explained that this is a sign that in the latter part, the last parts of the life of this world, there will be very few people who will be making the dhikr of Allah, who will be remembering Allah, like the riwayat Muslim La taqumu sa'ahatta la yuqal fi al-ard Allah Allah Qiyamat will not occur until there isn't a single person on this earth who is not taking the name of Allah and remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Qala rabbukum Law anna abidi ata'uni la asqaytuhum If my servants just obeyed me I would have looked after them well, I would have given them their needs, fulfill their requirements. لَأَسْقَيْتُهُمُ الْمَثَرْ بِاللَّيْلِ At night I would have made the rain descend and let the sun rise normal and they wouldn't have heard the sounds and the thunder and the rumbling of the storms. So if we look at the previous nations also when Allah's adab came, then these were circumstances 
that wiped out the entire nation. So there was a team of, of researchers in the AIRS project, Atmosphere Infrared Sound project. Scientists did research from 1993 to 2012 and they compiled the data and analyzed 15 years. And they tried to see the correlation on the formation of extreme storms. Now what's an extreme storm where it produces about three millimeters of rain per hour over a certain area. And generally when it was, the SSTs were hotter than 28 degrees, then it increased. So the number of extreme storms went up by 21% for every 1.8 degrees. So the climate change, so the last before Kiamat, before the volcano erupts, there would be a preparation for the world to end. And these are some of the signs. So researchers say that they expect on their projections and their models, they've concluded that extreme storms could increase up to 60%. So from the 39 year period where researchers have done research, they found that the world has warmed significantly every year from these 39 years. And uh, the warmest recorded periods were 2018 and 2019. So the concern when there is an increase in the temperature, that was one concern which will result and have devastating effects on Earth. All that we are quoting is what researchers have said, Allah knows best, but Nabi Ali Salam has warned us this will happen. So, increase in cyclones, tropical cyclones, and uh, when a cyclone occurs, it gets stronger and it becomes a hurricane, which is around 65 knots. And uh, then it moves on, the winds are at 119 kilometers per hour. And uh, as it becomes a major hurricane, it moves up to 100 knots. And researchers are saying that the intensity, one is the increase in number, but one is the intensity of these natural elements have gone up around 15% in this study of the 39 year study period. So scientists say 95% we are confident that cyclones, hurricanes, it starts with a cyclone, becomes a hurricane, then it becomes a major hurricane. They are confident that it has increased. Likewise, lightning as well have become more frequent on the earth. And uh, in the University of California, in a journal of science, they found that due to this warming condition, it resulted in 50% of more lightning strikes. So, one was the frequency and one was the intensity as well. So, because of the increase in temperature, the lightning strikes for every one degree would increase about 12%. So, that was one. Then secondly, lightning itself can cause wildfires. So lightning strikes are a cause of, of among the most devastating blazes on earth. And uh, they've been very deadly. And we've been hearing it recently as well. So let us go into this research of deadly blazes, of tornadoes, of hurricanes, of storms, of lightnings, and we'll see 
the Nabi alayhi salam has already warned us about this. On a statistics basis, just to calculate the lightning strikes, claims, this is just the US, between 2017 and 2019 increased by 11% and more than 900 million dollars in lightning claims were paid out in 2019. So there has been an increase and uh, lightning fires which have caused devastation of civilian deaths and millions of dollars of losses. So, Nabi alayhi salatun has warned us, لا تقوم الساعة Another one in, حتى يمتر الناس that it will rain but such rain that will not offer protection at all from your solid houses. So, if you had here houses structures, Allah knows best what was the meaning at that time, but rain will be available, it will be abundant, but in another riwayat, so one is you won't be protected, which possibly can mean that floods will wipe out all your structures. وَلَا تُنْبِتُ الْأَرْضِ شَيْئًا In another narration, the earth will not produce anything. So we'll have rain, but you will have no produce. لَيْسَتِ السَّنَ بِأَلَّا تُمْطِرُوا وَلَكِنِ السَّنَ أَنْ تُمْطِرُوا That the rain will come. That's not a famine. The actual famine is when you get rain, but there is no produce. So there is no benefit of the rain. So the Qadi Ayaz used to say that with regards to this narration, that a, a, a strict and a severe famine is not when it doesn't rain, but consider when it does rain and your produce, your crops don't grow. Because this is where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is showing His power that even though you've got all the means, it will not benefit you. وَلَقَدْ أَخَذْنَا أَلَ فِرْعَوْنَ بِالسِّنِينَ So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took the people of Fir'aun with the famine. So on this narration, ulama have given few meanings. Number one was that it will rain, but the rain will cause floods and wipe you out. Secondly, it will rain, but in areas where rain is not beneficial, where there's no people, when there's no need or benefit for that rain. Number three, where there will be acid rain. So acid rain is due to the pollution in the atmosphere, fuel is burned, different chemicals. Those fumes are gases in the atmosphere and uh, nitrogen oxide, sulfur dioxide react with the droplets of water in the clouds and that forms sulfuric and nitric acid. So that acid now can travel into the atmosphere and can rain down not only countries but in continent to continent. It will take a form of snow, mist, whatever form it is. And that will affect the soil, the trees, the vegetation, the water. It can wipe out forests, it can destroy even fish habitats. In Scandinavia there are dead lakes which are crystal clear. But there is no living creatures or plant life. We look at the UK as well, Britain. There are great risk and harms which have come to fresh water fish. A lot of deformed fish have been born and hatched. And then the birds that are consuming this fish are also affected. So it's, it's, it's a very ruthless cycle. So man, man in his greed for dunya does not concern himself about the harms of the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
Now somebody might say I am eating fish so it's natural, there's no harm. But we have no idea the amount of toxins and chemicals and plastics and other harmful ingredients which they are consuming which effectively would harm a person. And number four, ulama have explained the possible meaning is rain will come but the sins of insan will be so much it will not allow crops to grow. So scientists are saying that when this precipitation and increase in extreme temperature this increases then that would be a cause of rain and we have to remember that not all rain is beneficial. Not all rain is beneficial. Even if it had to rain in a certain area, then a person is under the impression that that rain is beneficial. But that is not necessary at all. Why? Because when there is excessive wet conditions, then farmers cannot access the field, get the equipment, the crop produce yields will drop dramatically and uh, whatever the farmers need to do, whether it's planting, whether using the herbicides and fungicides at the correct time, that cannot happen. Then the soil in the moisture, the damage to the crop, the wet conditions, the fungal growth, all of that are factors which affect growth. So research was done on the University of Illinois and they said that there are complex agricultural problems with too much rain and uh, from data from 1981 through 2016. And their research have shown that in these three decades there has been excessive rainfall which has harmed the production and they've given example, for example, in the US corn yield, there's a 34% relative expected yield, which has been caused by the excessive heat and the rain. And this data is outly available, Global Change Biology in different journals. We will find it as well. So, Logically, insan uses their logic, but Nabi alayhi salam has warned us and scientists are just proving exactly. Even if scientists didn't prove it, we didn't need the proof. Many centuries ago, 4,300 years ago, when the initial empires in the Tigris and the Euphrates rivers, they were big, powerful civilizations. And as time went by, a lot of these civilizations were wiped out and uh, scientists attribute it to the model where temperature precipitation temperature zones have increased. So researchers say a, a general rule is wet areas are going to get wetter and dry areas will get drier. And if you look at Africa alone only 6% of its cropland is irrigated. So Africa itself is vulnerable and when rain does come, it comes in intense bursts and with the flooding and the risk and the disaster, whether it's a flash flood, which is through rapid excessive rainfall, whether it's river floods or whether it's coastal floods. But between 80 and 90 percent of all documented disasters are from natural hazards during the past 10 years. Whether it's a flood, whether it's a drought, whether it's a tropical cyclone, whether it's heat waves, whether it's severe storms, the frequency and the intensity have increased. So from 1998 to 2017 just floods alone have affected 2 billion people worldwide. And uh, the extreme rainfall from 1980 to now has shown a dramatic increase. So that takes over time, researchers have done research from 1925 to 1999 and they found the increase in the temperatures. The Spanish ministry have also said that the effects of climate change, possibly a third of the country 
is at risk of becoming into a desert. Desertification is possible. Cyprus as well. In 2008, the reservoir levels reached 7%. So, these are the consequences, but outwardly, inwardly, we need to check our amal. The amal for today is a person who marries for the sake of Allah. Man zawaj lillah tawajjahu allahu taj al karama. Whoever marries for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah will give him the crown of honor. Wa akhiru da'wana anilhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.